What is up guys? Today we are going to do a veggie loaded meatloaf Hell with yeah. roasted sweet potatoes. Uh, really good stuff. Under 500 calories per serving. We're going to get 10 servings. Uh, so I ate two of these a day for five days and didn't get sick of them. They're great. Uh, okay, let's get started. So first we're going to preheat uh, our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then lay out 180 grams of multi-grain bread in a single layer. We're going to bake those for 25 minutes until completely dried out so we can make breadcrumbs out of them. Then we want to chop up one pound of onion, half a pound of carrots, and half a pound of celery. We will set those aside for now and smash and chop up five cloves of garlic. Once our veggies are all done, we are going to add two tablespoons olive oil to a nonstick pan at about medium high heat. Add in our veggies and stir. Let those cook off for about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, we will start to make our sauce. So for our glaze, we have one cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, half a cup of Truvia brown sugar substitute or whichever brown sugar substitute you prefer and then two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce Worcestershire Worcestershire however you want to say it that's the sauce and then we're going to blend that up 15 minutes later I'm going to add in the garlic to the veggies cook and stir until fragrant another two minutes now we're going to kill the heat to the pan and set it aside for now so it can begin to cool. Meanwhile, we add our ingredients to a large mixing bowl. We have four eggs, a half a cup of the meatloaf glaze, uh, an herb blend consisting of rosemary, thyme, parsley, salt, black pepper, onion powder, and no, I think that was it. Okay. And then we are going to add our vegetable mixture into the bowl once it is cooled. Two pounds of 99% lean ground turkey, one pound of 90% lean ground beef. We will combine all of the ingredients. Then, because I wanted to be lazy and not make more dishes, I hand crushed my toast into breadcrumbs into the mixture. Uh, it did end up resulting in leaving behind some chunks in the meatloaf, which wasn't terrible, but I would suggest using a food processor or blender to make your own breadcrumbs to avoid this. Then I took the loaf mixture, added it to a three quart baking dish, not in a loaf form, I patted it all out like it was a cake. Cover with foil, bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour, or until an internal temp of 155 degrees is reached. While that is cooking, I prepared the sweet potatoes. Cutting two pounds of sweet potatoes into half inch chunks, I tossed it with two tablespoons olive oil, preheated a air fryer at 350 degrees for three minutes, add the sweet potatoes to the air fryer and fried for about 15 minutes tossing periodically then I glazed the sweet potatoes with one tablespoon of honey and roasted for an additional two minutes in the air fryer then I distribute those evenly across our 10 containers at this point our meatloaf is out and getting the glaze we are going to return it to the oven for another 10 minutes or inter until we have an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I cut into 20 slices, uh, two by 10. So two slices per portion, 10 portions in total. Uh, so yes, just divvy those up. And then I took the remainder of the juice from the pan and also distributed that just so I could get as precise as possible with my macronutrient breakdown. There we have it. 10 healthy meatloaf meals ready to go. Uh, now meatloaf isn't for everybody, but I love it. So I wanted to make a healthier version. Um, I think that's how I'm going to get through 
uh, changing my lifestyle is not eating bland chicken and rice every day, but creating these healthier versions of the things that I know and love. So, uh, macro breakdown, we have 433 calories, 44 grams of protein, 51 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of fat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have other requests for, maybe you're looking for a healthier version of a meal you love, uh, throw that in the comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Stay hungry and keep climbing.